Hello everyone. I am Sehra Baskerli in Baku University's laboratory with the project named Electrolyte Challenge, uh, Orange Juice versus Sports Drink. Uh, let me talk about the abstract of this project. Uh, as you know, um, the makers of the sports drink uh, spent million dollars to uh, gain a benefit uh, and gain a profit actually uh, to their product. And among this, uh, among the benefits of this sports drink, uh, actually the it's uh, proved that uh, sports drink uh, provides many electrolytes when they uh, pass the electricity. And, uh, and the, in this project, the objective will be to prove that uh, how electrolyte will be uh, higher than the orange juice. Okay, let me now to uh, show you the uh, stuff in this project that I will use. Okay, uh, of course I will use the orange juice and the sports drink. So uh, for the kit, uh, electricity kit, I will use multimeter, simple multimeter, digital multimeter actually, and uh, nine watts battery and the battery clip. Then scissors we have, also copper wire, then alligator clip pleats to, for our kit, as I mentioned it. And then uh, plastic bowels, then uh, lab notebook and pen, and distilled water and tap water. And as an inductor, I will use this uh, plastic uh, hollow tube. In the first step of this project, we will make uh, a conductance sensor. To do it, we will need uh, a tube, inductor tube, and the copper wire, which is cut uh, nearly 12 centimeters. Okay, uh, so we'll uh, wrap this copper wire uh, from the two sides of the tubes. Uh, nearly four or three uh, coils is enough. So, uh, as a caution property, I would like to say that. Uh, be attention that these two uh, wires, when you cut off uh, completely, these two wires doesn't, uh, these two wires don't touch each other. Uh, wrap this uh, copper wires till the five centimeters, approximately five centimeters, leaving. And here the turn of the second one. Nearly, our uh, make uh, conducting sensor is ready to use. Okay, in this step we will set up our test solutions. Uh, here we'll use eight uh, plastic bubbles, and they contain. Let me show you: uh, tap water, distilled water, orange juice, and sports drink. And uh, another one we'll label as a tap water rinse, which we will. Uh, clean and raise our uh, inductor through this tap water and also uh, then we'll uh, think this uh, inductor uh, through the three uh, distillate water to clean the ions which the inductor contains. Now it's time uh, for uh, making a conductance circuit. To do it, we'll, uh, we'll need a digital multimeter and uh, alligator clip reads, then 9 volt battery, and then that battery is clip. So, okay, the first step will uh, make up the set up the multimeter. 
do this uh, here, uh, please uh, pay attention. You will uh, plug in the black wire to the port, which is the written comb above it. Okay, we plug in this here, and the red wire will connect to the uh, this port, which is written micro ampere and uh, milli ampere. So the multimeter is ready, and we set up as a off. It's not used yet. Okay, then we will uh, the connect the alligators with the wires of the multimeter. Uh, let me mention that uh, the alligator actually uh, play, um, plays a role as a connector to do a circuit. Uh, so easily you can connect which the uh, materials in the circuit with by this only by this uh, wires. So okay, we just connect them. in here and uh, one red wire will be connected with the red wire of the multimeter so and then these heads will be connected with the battery and the, our inductor sensor conductance sensor I'm sorry so we uh, connect wire and battery like this shown here and uh, one head of alligator will be Connected with this. Oh, excuse me. Ah, yes. And the other type will be connected with our conductance sensor. Like this. Just like this. So simple. And the one head of uh, this wire which is connected with the multimeter will be connected with our conductance sensor and the black one will be connected the other side of battery so let me show you the widely our circuit it so it needle must be like so it must be like this. Now we first uh, use our experiment for the distilled water. To do it, we will uh, set up our multimeter uh, to the uh, 200 mi microamperes, which is the, uh, as you know, this water is highly sensitive and uh, and the less conduct uh, less conductance than other solutions. Okay, let me do it. Okay, for the distiller water, we set up our uh, multimeter to the uh, 200 microamperes. Let me to do it. Okay, as you see, the multimeter is uh, showing the zero yet, and uh, now I put our uh, conductance sensor to the distillate water. Let me to let me do it, and please. Pay attention that two wires doesn't touch each other. We put it. Make sure that you uh, completely uh, plug this uh, sensor into the water. So we see the uh, multimeters measure. It's exactly one, and we uh, should immediately uh, take off this sensor because uh, there can be source of errors. 
Uh, why? Because uh, electrolytes may be produced and uh, also the wire uh, will be uh, react with in the solution. So we can uh, now uh, lab <coughs> label our observations. For the solid water, it is one, pay attention, it's mm, micro amperes. So it's the time for tap water now. After the distilled water, you don't need uh, rinse and clean your uh, conducting sensor because distilled water <laughs> uh, doesn't contain any uh, ions. So just uh, cleaning with the towel is okay. So it's the time for the uh, tap water now. Uh, but in this step, there is um, some exception. We will uh, set up our multimeter to the 200 milli amperes and put the tap water. Okay, let me do it now. And be sure that you will um, uh, put the sensor into the same depth because there are, as I mentioned, there may be some sorts of errors. So I will just set up now and let's see what will happen. As I said it, 200 milliamperes and Multimeter shows zero, so let's put it into the same depth. So be sure it's the same and look at the multimeters. Just it's 0 0.8. Now we can uh, label our observation tap water was 0 0.8 milli amperes after doing our experiment with the tap water we will clean and rinse up uh, our sensor as I mentioned before uh, so we will just uh, rinse all of three distilled water to make sure that uh, sensor doesn't contain any ions or any Dial doesn't change. 200 milliamperes is okay. Multimeter shows zero, so <laughs> it's time to the dip into the same dip. And conducting sense and uh, multimeter, I'm sorry, shows the 14.6. That's okay. And let me correct my mistakes before because it was 9.1 uh, milliamperes, and that's 14.6 six milliamperes now. Now uh, we are in the main point. Uh, here I will put our sensor into the sports stream and according to the observation it must be higher than orange juice to prove uh, the theory. Okay, now we will again to deal our uh, multimeter to the 200 milliamperes. It shows zero, so time for the reading. I want to uh, count down. Three, two, one. Here you see, there's a big difference between the sports drink and orange juice. I label it 25 point, let's see, averagely 25.8 milli amperes. Okay, now it's the time for the calculations. We have the uh, measurements and uh, will calculate the conductance. Uh, according to the formula of uh, conductance, it's G equals to I over V, which is represented with Siemens. So we have a calculator to uh, calculate it. Firstly, for distilled water, we will divide one uh, microampere, 10 power minus six, over the 9 volt, uh, we'll, we used a 9 volt battery and it is 
nearly 0 0.1 times 10 power minus 6 seconds. Okay, now the time for the tap water. It, it was the 8.1 times 9 power of minus 3 over 9 and that's the 9 times minus 3 seconds. And uh, for the orange juice, that's the 14.6 times 10 power minus 3 and over 9, and that's the 1.6 times, <laughs> it's a significant figure, 1.6 times 10 power minus 3 seconds. And the last one for sports ring. That's the 25.8 times 10 power of minus 3 over 9, and that's the. Oh, I'm sorry. 9, and it's 2.8 times 10 minus 3 Siemens. So, from the calculations, you see that the uh, convectance of the sports ring. Uh, is higher than orange juice and uh, because of it the sports drink uh, produce more electrolytes and because of the electrolytes you uh, sweat too much as you uh, work out or run and uh, it's really uh, recommended to use the uh, sports drink uh, while you are uh, just working out. Thanks for all watching.